Okay, right, I'm recording this after I did the video to try and better answer a question I was asked. The question I was asked was, how do you make sure that the ball is central in the wings? It all starts with, before you even go near the light, it starts with the blank. The blank has to be exactly square. This one is seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters exactly. Right. Find your center, and the easiest way to do that on a square is to go corner to corner exactly. Right. You've got your center. Right. Mark your exact center. Get a drill. Drill a guide hole. It doesn't need to be deep. Then Make yourself one of these. It's a guide for your faceplate. Right? You're a torn, you can torn it in two minutes. Right? So the fits down in the middle of that. You turn a point on it, put the point in the hole, put your faceplate down. That faceplate is now dead center in there. Right? And then all you do is you mount your faceplate. If the face plate is dead center, then everything else has to be dead center. Unless you turn it really weird. And that's how you make everything, that's how you make sure the ball is dead center in the wings. Okay, on the lathe we have a piece of tiger wood. It's 8 inches by 8 inches. It already has a finish on it, which is going to have to come off. Uh... It's a cut half off a table. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is cut that off. Right. Very gently find the edge. Ooh. Whatever that finishes, it hurts. So it's some sort of resin. And I don't do resin. Yeah, that's some sort of resin. I gotta get rid of that. Look this funny here. It's thick resin. Hmm. Okay, we gotta get rid of that. God, this stuff makes a mess. I don't use much resin, and you can see why. God, that stuff's messy. Right. My garage probably needs sharpening after that. Right, now we're trying to get a surface on this. It's usable. The wind off this is ferocious. Right. And the first thing I want to do is establish a tin. Oh well, I'm going to do mortise on this for when I flip it over. I'll be using my two inch jaws.
Now the second thing I need to establish is the size of the bowl. Now, I want a rim on it. About that. A quick spin. So about that. I think. Now parting tool again. Let's check that. Yeah, I'm dragging that all away. That will give me my bowl size. Yep, I think so. Now that gives me something to walk to. <coughs> now, let's start farming these wings. Another look, see what I'm doing. I can't get much deeper than that with that bowl in the way. <coughs> so, I'll start taking some of that away. And I'll start to bring those wings up. It's just not cutting well, so I'm going to sharpen it again. Much better. Okay, I'm just starting to dive on me a bit, so I won't be going any deeper until I move the tool rest. Check the wings. Getting there. <coughs> so I to move that tool rest a little. I'm clear, I am. Clean up that. That's my depth. Right. Let's go walk in these wings again. Another look. 
Hmm. Yeah, they're getting the curve on them now. The curve I like on them now. Do I, where do I want to bring them to? That's the question. Slightly higher, I think. Trying to find the bowl shape a little. Sand that so they don't finish it before I flip it around. Because I'm not going to be able to do it once I flip this over. Okay, it's the next morning and I have finished the base. I did the same finish that I did on the lamp. Now I've been looking at this wood. I don't think it's tiger wood. I think it's one of the other acacias. If anybody who doesn't know, there's a lot of argument about this, but there's round about 160 species of acacia. And you'd actually be surprised at what they are. Of what we refer to as tiger wood is actually an acacia. And there's a load of other ones. And I think this is one of the other species of it. So now we're going to flip it around and do the other side. Right. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to take the face plate off. Right. Now, if you are using a face plate, the screws you use are quite important. Do not use drywall screws. They snap easy. The screws that I use are stainless. And they actually have a star drive. If you can see that. They actually use a star drive. They don't round off. They're handy enough. And you're mounting in a chuck. If you put your finger right in the middle and push. It kind of helps to balance it better. That's not too bad at all. and tighten it down well yeah do. first thing I'm going to do is face off here slowly go in till you find the edge That was a lot easier than facing up the other side. A lot cleaner too. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side as I did to this to this side. Right. What I want to do is I want to find out where that ball would naturally come out, which is about there. Right. I'm going to hollow the bowl first. You see me cut two 
two guides in the other side that was from my own head for reference for this side uh, I like to put the wings slightly lower on a ball so that the ball looks like it's emerging from the wings rather than have the wings kind of hanging off the top right so that's going to be where the rim of the bowl is right so put a cut on that side leave enough for what i want the width of the bowl to be Let's have a cut on that side. Have a quick look. Yeah, I like that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'll turn that into a bead after I have the wings cut and after I have the ball cut. Right. What I like to do is I like to hollow the ball out first because then when I'm out here working on the outsides, because it's only held in a chuck, I can bring up the tailstock with a soft touch in it and it just makes it more solid right so i'm just going to hollow the ball just as as i would a standard ball i'm at the right height speed up a bit i'll start to hollow right i'm gonna go and sharpen because needs it. You see the tear out there and there? That's because my gouge needs to be sharpened. <coughs> Angle. Yeah, the angle's good. The two are in closer. And go again. Down into the bowl now, so check the wall with. Yeah, that's good. And there a little bit again. Oops, slightly. Check clearance and go again. As the ball hollowed, quick feel. Probably get another cut just there. Let's go in a bit more. Right, I'm going to sharpen again. Yeah, that's better. Right. I'm now going to use my heavy duty negative ray scraper. I have a 35 35 grind on it just to clean up the inside of this. Get rid of the fill marks. Much cleaner. Right. right. Yes, much better. Now we're going to go on these wings. Right. Now, when I'm doing wings. 
tiles or anything like this I bring up the tile stock and I'm using dry wood so I bring up the tile stock in with the live center and then I use a soft touch I actually got the design for the, well, the idea for it from Captain Eddie and what it is is it's a disc of nylon left over from an off cut from when I made the cold jaws it has a hole in it that fits over the top of my live center and it just saves in here being damaged lock the tail sock down put in lock her down she's central she's not so back out give it a bit of a spin give it a bit of a spin and push that in while it's spinning yeah that'll do fine now bring this up check for clearance which I am okay on now we'll start working on those wings now remember you're cutting a lot of air out here so gently find your cut gently start farming your wings Walking in towards that ridge that I left. Right. Check out the cutting. Little bits of tear out. We can sort that out later. Right. Right. Gentle cuts. So you get down to where you want that ridge. deeper so back to the parking tool back in the same spot again myself a guide and go again Take it down to that. And check it again. Still not deep enough. So we go again.
Now we'll go back to shaping the wings again. Stop and check how you're doing. Right. Much cleaner cut coming from the outside. Right. I'm still wide here. Right. And what I'll do is I'll move the camera so you can see this from a better angle. Right, that's probably a better angle. You can see here on the wings, I'm wider here than I am here. And what you want in the wings is straight. It's a straight line. So the wings need a bit more work. Gently in. Till I find the edge. You're cutting mostly air. Check again. Yeah, let's lower that another bit. And we gotta go again though. Till you find it. And check again. We're nearly there. I'd say one more could do it. See here, the edge here. Right. See the edges here? The way it's slightly wider, so I need to take a cut just out here on the edge. So to find it. I can get when I'm sanding it. <coughs> now, I want to make this part blend into that bowl, so I actually need to undercut there slightly to make it follow the curve of the bowl. Now, if you're doing this, you have to be very careful that this wing does not catch the wings here because it will twist the tool in your hand and you'll get a catch. One more. That's it. <coughs> now, I want to form this into a bead. I want to round it off a bit. Uh, 
now that the wings are done I can take this away so we can go back to working that way right, soft touch out And then there's a few ways you can farm beads. You can do it with a gouge, or you can do it with sandpaper. Right. Or you can do it with a scraper. On this one, I'm actually going to use sandpaper. Because I... I don't like the look of something that's on there. Sandy pot. Right, I'm using a sanding pot <coughs> because of the fact that I can't grip stuff. Oh, but now it would actually be easy for me to do it that way. But I can't hold on to it, so I'm using a sanding pot. Right, I've sanded it and I've cleaned it. I'm just going to go through my normal finishing process, which I went into in detail in the genie lamp. And if you're interested in how I finish, I'll put a link to the genie lamp at the end of this video. And where I go into how I finish. Right. This, I'll just crack on with the finish. Rather than going into detail with it. And there's my version of a winged ball. I said I like to bring them higher here and not have them hanging off here. If I was putting a lid on it, I would bring it off here. But I like to see that the ball is emerging from the wings rather than the wings hanging off if I'm just doing a straight ball. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you on the next one.